And I'm very pleased to welcome those of you here in Pick Steger. Uh, tonight's concert is the second out of three performances this week, uh, featuring music by Jennifer Higdon, who's our 2018 recipient of the Michael Ludwig Nemers Prize in Music Composition. The level of teaching at this school and the level of education and music making is so incredible that to be given the Nimmer's Prize from an institution that's so respected means a lot to me. Heat Street Street is actually a huge street that runs through the middle of the downtown Atlanta, also where the Woodruff Art Center is, is right on Heat Street Street. The thing is that, that I love when we do things like this is the fact that it means I get to work with a, a real variety of the school. I've got a Mark 40, but go ahead and belt it out at Fortissimo. Because the strings have been going to town, but we want to hear the wind entrance. <laughs> Having grown up in a household with no classical music, because my dad was a commercial artist who worked at home, he always had music playing, but it was the Beatles, 60s folk, the early reggae, Bob Dylan, Rolling Stones. But I also realized composers pick up from music they hear all around them, on the radio, in restaurants, if it's playing somewhere out on a subway platform. You take in all of that and it becomes kind of a part of your, your sound world. When you drive down on Peachtree Street, the lanes are narrow and everything is very fast moving. So that's kind of what this movement is. Emotion is important for me in music. I want the music to touch the audience. I think you should be able to walk into a concert if this is your first classical concert. The music should speak to you. I think you don't have to have a PhD to understand what's happening there. So I think about that when I'm writing. I take that really seriously. Ah, advice. Make sure you love it because it's not easy but it really is rewarding. If you're a performer, my big thing is play as much as possible. Play all kinds of music from all time periods. It makes you a much better performer in general. But also you have a right as a performer to make your own statement in the world. Why not commission or perform a new work? Because this is the music of our time. For composers, I always say, get to know the performers. They're your allies, they're your advocates. They're the people who are gonna represent you on the stage. But for a composer, they need to write as much music as they can. They need to explore as much music as they can, and they need to make sure they're hearing the things that they write so that they can learn what works for them, for the audience, for the performer. And in reality, working in the arts is not so easy, so for all of us to be working together, rowing the boat in the same direction is a good thing. And it has just been pure joy working with everyone here this week. I've gotten to meet a lot of people, and so I have serious gratitude to the administration and the faculty and the students themselves for putting in a lot of work on all the notes that I've put on the page. As a person coming into the school to work with the performers and to be able to work with some of the faculty that I've had relationships with in other places. That's what music is. It's a small family. It's a family. And um, I get the impression that's what Northwestern is.